All right, today we are going to be looking at Timu. We've got another package from Timu. So I've ordered, this will be my fourth order that's come from Timu. So there's been a lot of uh, interesting things that have come through. We've seen some damages, we've seen uh, some missing parts, but we've seen some good quality products too. So I've been pleased with what we've been getting from Timu so far. Um, but what I'm gonna do is show you this and we'll open up, make sure everything's here. I'm looking for that 100%, everything's there, everything's, good quality and that's what we're looking for so to me it is I'm trying to decide if it's worth the hassle to order some of these things there's certain things like power tools that I probably wouldn't order from Timu but some of the jigs um, rules uh, squares and things like that I feel it's comfortable to take that risk there too so let's dive right in and see what we've got here but one thing I will say is I'm just not a big fan of their packaging um, you know, it could be so much better. And that one see has already had a couple of nicks on it on the outside, so we shall see if everything's okay. Alright, Okay. It looks yay, like everything's here. But I think part of the success with having everything oftentimes is if you have small items. Because when you have smaller items like this and it's packaged, it's not that big of an issue, but the things that have posed the biggest issue, I've ordered T-Track before, I want to say it's about, it may have been 20 inches, somewhere in there, it wasn't super long. I end up getting these longer pieces of T-Track, I ordered them through Amazon, but the little cross members here, there's four small pieces that I ordered from Timu, and I really liked it. Uh, good clean fit, uh, matched up well with the T-Track that I bought from Amazon. And the only difference is the color slightly off, but it's no big deal. But that was a really good product, small item. When I had like uh, rulers, uh, or excuse me, yeah, I had a ruler that was I had mentioned last time that um, was just looked like in the package. They had wrapped it like this, and there was a long protrusion. Maybe it got cut at some point. The carrier decided to put it in a box. When they put it in a box, so I don't know whose fault it was. It was bent. So that's one of those with a long item. Again, just not being easy to ship that way. So let's just dive right into this and see. Um, let's start here and check this one out. So this is a little bit heavy. I know what this is. This is a mortising bit and chisel. Looks good. Um, metal's maybe a little bit rough. I got some nicks on that. Sometimes it's the... We'll try that out and see there too. So I'm anxious to see how that works. Well, I know how it works, but I'm anxious to see how the how the quality of this here is. It's not quite as smooth, a little bit rough. I mean, it looks like it might need a little bit of polishing, a little bit of finishing up. But if it works, I don't care if it looks rough on there as long as it works. So we'll give that one a try and give some feedback on it too. It's big and it's beefy. I like that, it's, it's very solid. I didn't get a chance to try this, but I want to show it to you. So here is the mortising chisel and bit. Okay, so you can see and it's supposed to have some play in there too. I don't know if they all come with a collar up top or not. Um, yeah, you can see that's kind of just rough looking. I don't know if they're all typically like that or not. I just wanted to try this one, but my fear is it's not going to cut that well just based upon what I, we're seeing with the countersink bits. So we. Um, got a steel rule here. Uh, this is just 150 millimeter, and I do prefer the tools that I buy with everything being in metric. I've just used it for so many years now. I find it to be easier for me to relate to. I can remember it just as easy as I do the standard. It's just easy fractionally to be able to do as well. On the back side, it's got uh, standard SAE measurements there too, but I like that. So just a quick rule that I'll have, uh, probably somewhere on the side of the tool bench here. Excellent. So we are two for two. Let's put these in the two for two pile. I gotta try that to see if that works though. Um, open this one and see what this is. Pretty. These are simple. I just bought some sanding blocks here, just a pack of four. Yeah, and what I like about these, even if you wear these out, um, I do have where I use some self-adhesive long rolls and you can take it just roll it around the edge you got different grit so these will last beyond the time of the actual sponges themselves everybody's seen and used those before the one thing i did notice is i was trying them out i mean they're okay um 
but they are smaller than what I've typically bought here. So a lot of times, this is one of the things I found about Timo. You be careful, read the sizes, because sometimes the pictures are misleading. I bought some magnets, I remember, and they were much smaller than what I did what I thought they were going to be. Now, when I went back and read the description, it's exactly like it described, but the way the picture shows, obviously they zoomed in and stuff too, but here's the pads. And I just want to compare it to one that I bought here. Just may have been a Lowe's or Home Depot type thing. So it's a little bit shorter. Thickness wise, it's about the same. It's not as broad, um, a little bit narrower, not a ton, but you can see that there's a little bit of difference there. But like I said, after I use this, the sponge seems to be of a good consistency. So I'll just wrap sandpaper around it. Usually I just put some tape or something there too, or get the adhesive kind. Um, and that allows it to be able to have a little bit more life in it. So I do like the sandpaper still. Ah, yes. I have been looking forward to this. This is a center punch. So I use this quite frequently in marking things, everything from uh, starting pilot holes uh, or just metal. I don't want to put it, let me find something I can put that in, let me find a scrap piece here. This doesn't work. What happened on mine before, there's a little pin that wraps around there and it broke inside of it. And so it was really ineffective after that point. But let's try this. Oh yeah, well that's perfect. And the gnarling that's on here too, or knurling, gnarling. Um, knurling. Knurling. That's actually, it's got a good feel to it. It's got a good weight. I like that. Yep. Good deal. The next one we're going to try is the center punch. And I've already played around with it, so I like it. I know this is going to be a keeper. Just a scrap piece of wood. I'll show you kind of what that does. We're just going to put it down. You see the dimple that it puts in it. So it's really good. In, in woods like this, like in a birch or something, it's not that big of a deal because usually if you start a drill or a pilot hole or anything yet, wherever you set it, it's going to go through. But when you have something that has a the soft wood and the hard wood or the, um, the different grain, the hardnesses of the grain, that's where it comes into play. So if you've got um, like a pine or something where, that's not a good example either, but where you've got just a different hardnesses of the um of the wood this helps you to get a good start in the right spot so that your drill bit doesn't slide on you and i've got let's try it here i've got a little piece of the t-track that's aluminum so this will help to keep that bit from wandering as well so we can try it and see here oh yeah that left a good dimple there if you can see that but that makes it real easy to get a bit started so i would definitely give a thumbs up on this one too four for four this might be a first all right two more things I did need to get some countersink bits now I've got a ton of countersink bits the challenge I have is this is my home shop so here in this shop which is very small um, I don't have everything here so I have a lot of dual items so I have countersink bits there I have all of the bigger equipment that's set up there in that shop because it's much bigger than this but it never fails i think that i have a certain item at one place and i go to grab it and it's not there and it's at the other shop so i needed another set of these these look pretty good i don't the one thing that i wish that it had because i prefer to have the cutter heads where it has two cutter heads on here so it's cutting on two sides this has just got a single cutter head just like any typical um it's got a through uh, channel all the way through the shaft it's got a Allen wrench screw head on there too to tighten the um, bit onto. So just multiple sizes here. So I think that's going to be sufficient for what I need. So again, I haven't tested it yet, so we'll learn out a little bit more there too. But I think these are going to work. We've got here are the bits that you can see different sizes. Um, let's see a size eight size 12 so that's the biggest one a size 12 this looks like maybe a 10 i use typically eights and sixes the most there's a six all the way down to a five and then there's an eight so let's try those and see now the one thing about the countersink that it does have it has this long collar or a longer collar so it doesn't go straight from a shaft to a countersink it's got the collar that's there too and i'll show you what i mean by that Older piece here. Let's try. We'll get the number eight on. 
first. So as you can kind of see here. Ooh, I don't like that. Okay, so you can kind of see here if I show you. Got some wobble to it. Looks like it's mostly the bit though. Maybe I can adjust that. Yeah, I think it's more of the bit because if you look at the shank and the and the contour or the taper, the black part essentially that stays the same. It's, it's just the bit that's really wobbling back and forth. So I'm gonna see if I can fix that. Yeah. Now that bit's all over the place. Alright, let's try let's see what the number six looks like. Ooh, that one's wobbling all over too. And they don't cut very well at all either. All right, we may have gotten everything in this order, but I don't know. I don't know if I'm a fan. Oh, the same thing. You see it there. Maybe it shows better here. I've got several bits I may try on there. I just think that's way off. There's less play and wobble. No, I've still got quite a bit too. verdict is out I would not I would not recommend those all of them have play they all have wobble and again I know there's probably hundreds or at least dozens of manufacturers Timu that are supplying these but this particular one no god please I would no not no recommend and no. in fact I may try to send no. those back so this last one I think they're gonna mess that up. If it's messed up, I'll probably have to take the blame on that one. I know what I got is just some reading glasses. So, again, it was next to nothing in terms of price. Um, lightweight, so I wanna try that and see. It's the magnification that I need. Hopefully nothing. Very lightweight, I like that. Um, plastic's a little, well, okay, it's got like a little a textured more of a rubbery thing there so it's not as smooth and I like that that might that might stay on my shiny head a little bit so let's give it a try perfect that works good got a little sticker here too right so let me take these off you can kind of see here but yeah it's got this it's very flexible I do like that they're super lightweight um, the only thing that the, the they bend back a little. I don't know how durable that's going to be, but I do like that texture right there because it kind of is really good as far as staying snug against your your head and your skin. Here you can see it doesn't have the adjustable eyepieces or anything, but you know as far as readability, you know it's a two or a two hundred on the prescription uh, reading glasses, so it works perfect for what I need. So, wow, that's the first time. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're six for six. Nothing was lost, came at a pretty efficient rate. Okay, I would consider that a successful Timu haul. So, it wasn't the third time that was a charm, the fourth time that was a charm, but I like that, I thought that was really good. Um, and, and again, the products are inexpensive in terms of cost, a lot of them are. Now, sometimes you have to be careful because I know that, um, look around, because sometimes the pricing for the items that you might get here are very similarly to Amazon or somewhere else, and you can always get them faster through somewhere like Amazon. The I had I bought some sponge 
um, a little palm held sponge sander where you just strap the hook and loop um, five, five inch diameter sandpaper piece on the bottom. And it was a good deal, but very similar if you buy a multiple pack from Amazon, you could get a very similar deal. Maybe even better by the time you factor out the price per each on that. So really pleased with that haul. Um, Going to keep trying Timu. So not ready to go for something big with the big items yet with uh, any kind of tool or anything like that. But I like these small items, especially as I'm trying to get both shops up to speed in terms of having things. Everything from little center punches to... Uh, pencils, rules, and things like that. So it's been a good haul. So thumbs up, two thumbs up this time around. Uh, thank you very much.